Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, first things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, but it would really, really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to go. Okay, let's get down to business. So first things first, what is this clip all about? So it's lockdown, isn't it? So we've all been at home now for a very long time. Our lives have been disrupted. But fortunately, if we're all still well enough, it's not a patch of what a lot of people have gone through and how much people have lost throughout this time of which we have known of coronavirus. But coming away from that and with the greatest of respect and with so many awful things happening, um, one of the, it's sometimes the small things, isn't it, which really plays on our mind. It can often make a situation like that much, much worse, particularly of how we're feeling. Um, I thought of this when I was getting ready this morning. So it's been... It's been uh, quite a few months now since I've had my hair cut. So it's December. So it was the last time I had my hair cut. So about the start of December. Um, as you can see, I have highlights in my hair and it has grown out considerably. I think I've got nearly about two inches of regrowth now, maybe even a little bit more. Um, but I just wanted to run through um, some things which can really help get you through that sort of uncomfortable, sort of untidy situation, or perhaps you're thinking that your hair is really quite untidy, or you're starting to find that there is um, a real need for you now to visit the barbers or the hairdressers or the salon, whether you're a, a lady or a man watching this. Um, and hair has such a great power, I think, over all of us that when you have your hair cut or if, you're, if you have your hair styled and you walk out, you do tend to feel so much better. So here's just a few things what I want to share with you about um, in terms of keeping your hair fresh, keeping it looking vibrant and keeping it looking really healthy um, throughout this time when, to be quite honest with you, we really don't know when the next time will be uh, when we can get our hair cut or, or styled or if you're a lady have that sort of real fabulous sort of uh, style or colour if you're a man that real nice super sleek sort of undercut or anything like that, those those sort of days we miss of having all of that really does make us think that we took an awful lot for granted and hopefully when we all get back to some sort of sense of normality that we will take things uh, and we will value things a lot more, I know I certainly will. So let's start, so first things first, if we start with uh, sort of uh, men's appearance, men's hair. So one of my first things which I find, um, and I see this because my twin brother, um, he has facial hair, I don't. I absolutely, I hate facial hair. Number one, my hair is far too fine and any facial hair on me grows through stupidly thin um, and it's just not a nice look, it doesn't look. And personally, it just doesn't suit me. So my first sort of tip you could say, or my first suggestion of how to look super tidy, smart throughout this whole time when we can't get to the barbers or anything like that, is keeping well shaven. Now you may think that's really, really basic, but to be quite honest with you, it's not. Somebody like me, for example, struggles with shaving because I really do find that it does not agree with me. Shaving does not agree with me. It makes my skin really super sore, agitated, red, uncomfortable, that type of thing. So looking after your skin is your first step to being able to look fresh, look really, really healthy and look as though you're really making an effort in that everything's looking super smart, even though you haven't had your hair cut. We haven't been to a barber's for a super long time. So shaving. Another thing which takes me on uh, to my, my sort of next tip is the edges of your hair. You can do yourself or you can get somebody to help you if you live at home with somebody or if you've got your partner or anything like that at all and um, it's a really really great tip so the areas just at the sideburn area and the nape of your neck so the whole line you can use and you can tidy up so keeping it really smart um, you don't have to be a professional you don't have to take super amounts of time but just keeping everything super sleek and smart really does help keep your look as fresh as possible until you visit the barbers next. So that can just be through using a razor and just keeping the line of the sideburn here super straight and smart. And then you can, even if you wanted to, go around the edge and the nape of your neck. Don't go into the hair, but just literally, just as the hair stops, just to smarten everything up, use the razor or ask somebody to use a razor and just literally point downwards and then across the nape of the neck. And you will get a really smart, sleek line. If you're fortunate to have any sort of trimmers or anything like that at home, um, or like a beard trimmer, that type of thing, or like an edger, you can... You can get somebody else to do that and you can get a really nice smart edged line, like an angled line, and then a straight line across the back of your neck, which looks super cool and super smart and actually gives you the impression that you're growing a longer style. Now, 
Let's move on. First things first, I am growing my hair out. Um, I'm growing it into a longer style. I wear hearing aids, so I'm sort of playing with an idea um, of having a longer sort of style towards the um, towards the front, but longer at the back, but not so long. So just so it starts to sort of flick out and I've got a bit of a, a length of hair here, as you can see, it is growing and it, I'm, I'm really starting to like the look. But what you can see is that the highlights in my hair um, are quite silvery. Now, you may think that I've had those touched up. I haven't. Here's my secret tip. And this is where it really becomes um, that it's two men and women. Um, that if you've got highlights and if you're like me and you haven't had them touched up since December, and I'm actually leaving them alone now. One of the things where you can still keep enjoying that real ultra silvery, cool blonde look, which I really, really like, is by using purple shampoo and conditioner. Now, you may think, obviously, but no, not at all. Um, so I, uh, at the moment, I use the L'Oreal Paris Alviv um, purple shampoo and conditioner. I have got a review on my channel, so please, please go and have a look at that. And do you know what? That is one which really looks after the hair. It makes the hair super soft, super conditioned, and you really do get some real nice, as you can see here, metallic silvery hues. Now, only a couple of days ago, this was starting to turn quite what I call a traditional blonde, like a real yellowy, sort of real, um, that sort of traditional sort of blonde, which Looks looks good on some people, but for me, I always, always wanted a real icy, silvery, cool blonde look. And that particularly, uh, that particular shampoo and conditioner, if I leave it on for longer than it suggests, so if I leave it on for around 10, 15 minutes, the purple shampoo that is, I do find I get this real nice metallic silvery look, which again looks like that I just had that done at the hairdressers or at the barbers or wherever you go to get your hair done, um, or coloured or styled, what have you. Um, and that's the colour I always come out with and that's the colour I really, really like. So that product alone, I think it's around about £3.50 each, so for around about £7, you can sport some really really cool trendy silvery highlights even though it's grown out and i do find that that darker sort of hue in the sh in the in the uh root line really helps give a really nice contrast and it adds depth to the hair as well it makes the hair look super thick and full because of course you've got that contrast of the light and you've got that contrast of the dark um back in december i had the color right up to the root line so i didn't have any dark line in the front at all um, and then i had it sort of pull through my hair at the back which made it look really really nice but of course that grows out so quickly and never did we think that I wouldn't be able to get to the hairdressers um, again for so long but you know what? I like what's happening and do you know what? I'm not going to rush to the hairdressers when it all opens again because I like how it's growing and I don't know about any um, anyone who's watching this but what I absolutely hate at hairdressers and barbers is everybody seems so scissor happy and cut more than what you want and I absolutely hate that because if you're starting to grow out your hair and then they cut this much when you've just asked for a trim it's so annoying, isn't it? It really, really is so annoying. And it takes you so long then to get back to where you're wanting to your hair to be. Let's move on. So one of the huge things for me throughout this period of lockdown is, and it will be for a lot of people, when you haven't had your hair cut, the ends of your hair and, you, and your hair just in general tends to get a little bit more dry, a little bit more coarse, particularly if you've got colour in your hair, men's hair, women's hair, if it grows out, it starts to get a bit more drier, doesn't it? Because you're used to using hair gels, hairsprays, root lifting sprays, powders. If you're anything like me, I use every single hair product under the sun um, to achieve my sort of style. Now, I use heat protectant and everything like that as well but sometimes just getting that fresh cut just really pumps that much more of an injection of health into your hair so this is where taking the time to really really look after your hair pays off throughout periods like this when you can't get your hair cut now one of the things which i would absolutely recommend whether you're a man or a woman is investing in a hair oil now this doesn't mean that if you're a man watching this and you think that you've got to spend hours and hours and hours on all different products in your hair not at all i haven't got time for that love styling my hair haven't got time for the condition which is awful isn't it but if you use the right products and if you get your hair cut regularly when you can you can really sport some really healthy uh looking hair but one thing which i absolutely love and i actually uh, I, I got this from my, my mum, I live in the family home and she has super long hair down to her waist and um, it's, I believe it's, I can't really remember even the last time I remember having uh, seen my, na um, my nan, goodness, uh, my mum have her uh, hair, hair cut. Um, 
But one of the things, and actually, I'm, I'm glad I mentioned Manat because she uses this oil as well. Um, and this here is by Pantene Repair and Protect. And this stuff is absolutely brilliant in keeping your hair after you've washed it, after you've conditioned it, keeping it super soft and super shiny and super healthy. And you know what this is literally like? It gives you that feeling of that fresh cut hair feeling, which of course, being at the moment that we can't get to the barbers, we can't get to the hairdressers or whatever you call it, um, it's really important to be able to look after your hair. So all I do is shampoo my hair, then condition my hair, and then afterwards when I towel dried my hair off I use a few pumps of this so this is by Pantene now excuse me for keeping my fingers over this but how annoying here in the UK when they put like security things on here and I can assure you I've paid for this <laughs> but they leave these sort of tags on here and I cannot get this off and I hate leaving sort of like all sticky residue from labels and things on products because um, then you go to use it it just looks naff doesn't it and horrible so this stuff is brilliant it's Pantene repair and protect I have done a review of this on my channel already but this stuff is brilliant and just grew of life, health and vitality back into the hair. So that's something which is really, really good. Um, and I would absolutely recommend throughout this time when you can't get your hair cut, really concentrate on looking after your hair. So hair oils, hair masks, if you've got one, have a look. And you know what? If you're a man and you're thinking, thinking to yourself, actually, I could do with a little bit of health in my hair. Don't be afraid to actually just have a look online. If you don't want to be stood in a in a uh, hair care oil in the middle of a supermarket, let's be honest, none of us want to. Um, I don't know why, but there's a, a little bit of an issue, isn't there? I always get a little bit sort of panicked if some people see me looking at products and things in the hair cat oil. I don't know why, because we all like to look good, don't we? But if you're like me and you, and you get a little bit sort of funny about that, um, and I don't all the time, but sometimes if you see sort of like a gang of people, or if you see sort of like somebody... Um, I, I don't know. I had, it the, I had it the other day where I was, I was looking at some uh, products and... Um, there was two girls looking, they were really, really pretty, um, and they had really sort of uh, a really amazing look about them. And um, they see me looking at this sort of the hair oil, and I thought, okay, they're not going to think that I'm sort of macho or anything like that. So I got to speed on out the way. And it's strange, isn't it? But of course, we all like to look good. Um, so if you do, if you're like me, have a look online, and you can just banish all of that, can't you? As well. Um, let's move on. If you really, really, really cannot stand your hair, um, the length of what it's at, and you just think that it, oh, I, I've really got to get rid of this and believe you me I've had times where I've, I've been there is what I would suggest is and, and I am not professionally trained so please please do not take my word for this but I do cut different members of my family hair so for example I've cut my brother's hair before I've cut my dad's I've even cut my mum's and I've even cut my nan's because I've taught myself I mean there's stories behind all of that um, but we won't go into that today but what I would suggest is now never use just like a kitchen pair of shears I invested in these through trimming people's hair, cutting people's hair. And um, so I got these from Amazon, okay. Um, comes in a, in a sort of a, a pouch like this. I invested, I think about 25, 30 pounds, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. And here they are. So these are hair shears. Now these are mine, I really, really love these. Now I'm not gonna suggest that if you are absolutely at your wit's end of your hair, just absolutely grabbing it, cutting it off. What I'm suggesting is always, always only do a small amount until you get to your professional cut or till you can then get your professional cut. But what I would suggest if you can't stand it anymore, and I have done this actually, is grab yourself a pair of these shears or invest in a pair of these shears. Don't use it like sort of stationary scissors or anything like this. They're super, super sharp and they really do pay off and they just give so, so much more of a professional cut, much more of a sleekness to the hair after you've done it. But if you are going to jump in and start cutting your hair, what I would suggest, one little tip here if you're doing that, start small and gradual. But if you see parts of your hair which are really quite dry, really quite coarse, give it a try. Give it a try. Don't do anything drastic until you get your hair cut, until you build up your confidence. And then you can do a little bit more. But what I always do is start off with a length of hair like this. And if you can see the edges are quite sort of jagged pointed and that's on purpose so for example i haven't had my hair cut but if I, because it's bleached hair here as well if i find that all those ends are looking a little bit naff what i do is i take this sort of section of hair or i comb it down you can see it's styled at the moment so you can't necessarily see it so well take it down with a comb sort of put your fingers in here so you can just see hold the hair quite taut and then do something called do something called point cutting. Now I'm not a professional, that's why I pause there. And what you actually do is if you hold the hair and literally if you cut into the hair and that sort of notion, and if you hold the hair sort of down here and if you 
That way, you're not going to make a huge mistake. And what you're doing is you're cutting into the hair and you're just taking off those dry points. If you don't have enough confidence to that, start really, really small. Put your fingers down here and just literally really, really small. I'm not going to do that because I've done it lately and I don't want to cut my hair anymore. But something like this can really be a lifesaver of taking a fresh feeling back into the hair. So holding the hair up, remember, holding your fingers taut in there and literally just sort of quite gradual, small snippets in the hair words. Don't do that because what you're going to do is you're then going to be left with a bit of a, a block in sort of a straight jagged line. So if you do make a mistake, it's going to be really, really obvious. Now with that, what I have done as well is literally holding, if you've got a style like mine, it's quite jagged, quite choppy. And of course, this all depends on what you have from your last professional cut. But if you've got a style like mine, a little bit more texture is not going to help. So uh, not going to hurt, sorry, not going to help. It's going to help you. It's not going to hurt. Um, so literally holding the hair up above you and literally just jag, 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 cut. Don't know why I said it like that. But literally hold the hair up and literally. So quite a quick notion. I appreciate I'm not really doing it fantastically. This is just me sharing my tips here. But from doing that, you can do that throughout your hair. You're going to end up with fresh sleek hair until you then get to go uh, and get it done professionally um, and of course because you're doing small amounts a couple of weeks you're not going to notice it anyway if you do make a mistake but actually what you may find is that you actually do put texture into the hair you put health into the hair and it works out really well and let's be honest you've got a 50 50 chance of it being amazing or thinking actually i wish i wouldn't have done that a couple of weeks if you have only done a small amount it's going to be back so do not worry hair one thing we can count on in life is it grows doesn't it it grows. Okay, um, last thing what I want to mention is more around men's hair, is hair gel. Now, hair gel can cover a multitude of sins in styling. So if your hair is getting super long and it's grown out, literally, use a good quality hair gel. Now, this is my favourite. This is by L'Oreal Men Expert Extreme Fix. And this is a 10 strength, so it's the highest, highest strength of hair gel. And literally, slick the hair all back it's going to look super super cool and then put a parting in and pull it over you're going to get a real nice 1910s 1920s inspired look everything's going to be slicked back and it's going to look super super cool if not take a little bit of gel and um, wash your hair's wet rough it all through and literally pull the hair all over off onto one side and literally pull your longer bits back and then you've got this sort of parting rough your fingers through texture sort of vibrancy lift it's going to look super cool. Give it a try. And you know what? The last thing I want to mention is don't be afraid to embrace your hair's new texture as it's growing out. Hair has character when it gets longer. It also has sort of life. It has vibrancy. Um, let your hair do what it wants to do and embrace it with sort of sprays, texturizing powders, hair gels. All of this is going to take time, but hopefully some of these tips will get you through until you can have your hair cut once again professionally. I really hope you've taken away a few things from that. Um, and until next time, I hope you can join me, but stay safe, stay well, and until then, um, I really, really hope that you stay well and, and sort of good positive mental health as well throughout all of this, because I know that's a real struggle throughout all of this for a lot of people. Okay, until then, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.